This is Tom, and here's another KQ Morning Show Rewind from Walzer Automotive Group, walzer.com. The Minnesota Vikings looked horrendous pretty much all season, and certainly in the last game of the year, which was at home. So the Vikings sucked, uh, and the ownership decided, no, no, it's not the general manager, it's not the coach, it's the turf. That's uh-huh. the problem. Uh-huh. After nearly three years of usage that included a Super Bowl, monster truck rallies, and mega concerts, U.S. Bank Stadium's turf is kaput. The Minnesota Sports Facilities Authority last month formally requested proposals from companies to install 100,000 square feet of new turf to replace the greenery now in place at the two-and-a-half-year-old downtown Minneapolis Stadium at a cost of at least a a million dollars. When the current turf was laid down in 2016, then MSFA Executive Director Michelle Kelm Helgen told the Finance and Commerce Business Journal that its life cycle is eight to ten years and that it came with an eight-year warranty. They're coming in. However, uh, Vikings Vice President Lester Bagley said Wednesday that the turf replacement is part of routine maintenance necessitated by the wear and tear caused by heavier use of the stadium. That's good news. There have been a lot of events in there. Lisa Nice. Spokeswoman for SMG, the operator of U.S. Bank Stadium, said the tourist warranty only covered flaws, not normal wear and tear. How did you not know that as head of the committee? Oops. How did you think, uh, look, it's eight to ten years and it's, it's insured for up to eight years. Why didn't you check the policy and see what it was insured against and then implement a new policy that would cover wear and tear? Because if your product can't stand up to two years of use, even heavy use, it's a crap product. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. And they knew what was they. They know they, they, it's just plausible deniability, and somebody will pay for yep. it, and it'll go away in a couple of weeks. And well, you and I'll pay for it. Exactly. It says right on here. It says uh, 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 Stadium Authority. Well, we know who that is. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, so we'll see. Uh, state and city taxpayers paid $498 million to build the $1.1 billion stadium, which replaced the Metrodome. The Vikings, the stadium's main tenant, covered the balance of the cost, which is pretty amazing because a lot of cities, they don't pay anything. Uh, proposals to replace the turf will be taken until January 24th, and the winning bid is expected to be chosen by March 8th. The MSFA board will be asked again to sign off on the expenditure. So you and I are going to pay for it. I didn't say if uh, the team's going to pay for half of it, but I doubt that they will. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the turf. I'm pretty sure your team sucks. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I just think it's amazing that when the Vikings play a different team, that the Vikings only step on the bad turf. I mean, that's yes. that's, that's a, impressive. Everybody else gets to use the good stuff. Yeah. The Vikings, oh, they only travel on the bad turf. Yeah. This is Tom Bernard. You just heard another KQ Morning Show Rewind from my guys at Walzer Automotive Group, walzer.com. Hear today's entire KQ Morning Show on demand at 92kqrs.com, the KQ mobile app, or on iTunes.